aerobatics. Pilot and Red Bull athlete Patrick Davidson continues to reach for the stars. Now, Davidson claimed the first prize at the South African Sport Aerobatics Club Nationals, becoming the 2021 South African Unlimited Aerobatic Champion. He's part of 37 pilots that took part in the Nationals across different classes. Patrick Davidson joins us now via Zoom to chat a bit about that. Patrick, good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. Firstly, congratulations to you for becoming the 2021 South African Unlimited Aerobatic Champion. That is just phenomenal. And then also, just for our viewers at home, I want to ask you two things in one. You know, we see these things, but we don't really know what they are called. So for the benefit of our, of our viewers, what exactly is an aerobatic pilot? And also, you secured both the Unlimited and Freestyle class. Can you also tell us the difference between the two? Yeah, morning. Thank you very much for having me. So basically aerobatics is ballet in the sky, for lack of a better explanation. Um, you put in front of a panel of judges, um, yeah, and you, you ask to perform uh, what we call a free known, which is something that you're able to practice leading up to the event. And then thereafter, there's three unknowns, um, which you get given the night before, and you basically ask to put your aeroplane into uh, different positions and uh, perform these tricks or maneuvers. Um, whereby the, the judges will give you a score out of 10. And uh, at the end of it, uh, the winner will get an av average in percentage out of 100. And, yeah, he who has the highest wins, I guess. So take us back uh, a few years before 2021 because you won the first uh, aerobatic uh, contest with the safety, while well, rather you uh, participated with the safety pilot at the age of 12. You also competed then solo at the age of 17, and this is remarkable. I mean, where does your love for the sport come from? These aren't ordinary things we see every day in our backyard like football and rugby that we have in school. Yeah, so I was very lucky that uh, my dad was an aerobatic pilot and uh, obviously that's where the, the love and the passion stemmed from. I mean, there's no two ways about it, you know. Um, yeah, I was born into aerobatics and into flying and, uh, yeah, I've just been lucky enough to have the opportunities and, and then also the awesome sponsors to, to allow me to do this because obviously, as you can imagine, it's, uh, it's not really a cheap sport, but uh, it's an awesome one nonetheless. I was actually about to say this is no doubt an extremely expensive sport and I was wondering outside of the sponsors that you do have where exactly you get your funding from. I'm sure we do have kids that are watching who you know, are very much interested um, 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 as well. Just how do you do it financially? So um, this, unfortunately, is not my everyday job. Uh, we've, myself and my brother, have got a demolition earth moving business in Port Elizabeth. So, um, yeah, that's sort of what pays the bills and pays for the Avgas. But, yeah, I mean, obviously you need to get to a position where someone like Red Bull will get on board with you, and, and that takes time and money and effort. Um, I, was, I was lucky enough to have the opportunity, as I said, with my dad. Um, it is a family business, and therefore it allows me, number one, the time to be able to do what I want to do, and number two, to obviously the finances as well um, but yeah having cool sponsors also helps huh? so in your free time uh, Pat I see that you share your uh, flying knowledge um, with others and I see you also attend various training camps for other pilots can you tell us more about that and I'm quite interested to know do you actually fly commercial planes so I have a commercial license, but no, I don't fly what, uh, you know, the layman would see as a, as a commercial aeroplane being a Boeing or an Airbus or something. Um, we fly small aeroplanes, so plastic aeroplanes as we call them. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we've got a nice collection of warbirds as well, which uh, are based at our field at Seaview outside of Port Elizabeth. And, yeah, we have the opportunity to fly these aeroplanes. With regards to the, um, the training camps, it's something that I feel, you know, it's quite close to my heart, um, you know, to be able to give something back to, uh, to the community and to the younger pilots, aerobatic guys coming through the ranks as well. So, yeah, it's more of giving my time than anything else. So, yeah, it's just basically making time for me to be on the ground with a the radio. They present or do their figures or uh, sequences in front of me. And then afterwards we debrief and we try and get them to a level where, you know, hopefully one day they would also be able to compete at uh, Unlimited or, or maybe even, you know, taken into a world stage. So you're now the 2021 South African Unlimited Aerobatic Champion. Where to from here? What's next for Patrick Davidson? 
Yeah, I think it'll be cool to spend a bit of time with my family and uh, and take it easy a bit for the next week or two. But uh, flying is a massive part of my life. And as I said, we, we have a couple of other aircraft as well, which also need flying. So any opportunity I get, I'll still be flying. But uh, as of Monday, um, yeah, the, the new Air Race aircraft arrives from France. And yeah, next year will we'll require a lot of my attention and time to get prepared for the World Championship Air Race, which is a World Series, which I'll be a part of. So yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. We're going to be rooting for you very quickly before you go, Patrick. I mentioned earlier, you know, there's a few sporting codes that we're very familiar with, like the likes of your football, uh, cricket, rugby. Um, wh what is the interest like when it comes to um, aerobatics, um, have you noticed from, uh, you know, the youngsters out there? Yeah, the last two years has been super difficult. You know, normally you would have a lot of uh, young people coming to the airfield, watching air shows, you know, aspiring to be pilots, whether it be in the Air Force or, you know, just just socially or commercially possibly. Um, but with COVID, that's, that's put a real damper on it. But yeah, there is definitely an interest in, you know, um, I wouldn't say so much in competition aerobatics, but more like the, you know, the air shows, the the freestyle flying, the, the YouTube clips, the, you know, those sort Sorts of things and I think that uh, social media helps a lot to promote it but there has definitely been um, a, a more of an interest over the last couple of years from younger guys wanting to come through the ranks but uh, yeah as I said not an easy sport to get into but uh, yeah the, if, if I can help in any way I try and you know pass my knowledge on to the younger guys.